moved Ezra to his nursery this week. <laughs> it has been such a transition. He's finally getting like, it, it, he was more or less, he was like reverse cycling. Like he was just, it was something new and different and he wanted to wake up every hour. Finally, he's settled back and he's doing one wake up a night. Um, and then he kind of wakes up just like a little bit early. Five, five thirty, sometimes six, sometimes four forty-five. So we're working on getting him, you know, understanding his old routine, like in his in his crib. Um, so I took the week off from regular posting because it has been such a transition this week. Just like I mean, I didn't know that moving him in his crib would be so, like he slept so good. He sleeps so good every single time he's asleep. It's just like he wakes up and he still acts very confused. Like he'll like look around, like you can see him on the monitor. He's like, where the heck am I? So um, I just took a nap with him in the middle of the day. <laughs> Did not mean to, but I was holding him. And we've also been working on crib nap and I ended up falling asleep. So now I'm going to do a couple things. One. I'm going to take the, um, I was gonna go get a coffee, but I just don't feel like it's worth wasting the calories. Um, I'm gonna go take my check, put it in the mailbox. I put it directly in the USPS mailbox because it goes to the IRS, it's for my quarterly taxes, and it makes me like, part of me dies every time I write those checks. Like quarterly taxes hurt, physically hurt. I might go and look at the foundation. It got cut, or like the concrete got poured in the foundation today. I think that's like the appropriate way to say it. But I am sitting here regretting my lunch. I have got to stop eating gluten and dairy. If you've been here for a while, you know I probably, pro you probably know. I did not do glare. Glary. I did not do gluten or dairy. Like literally I cut out dairy just a couple months before I got pregnant with Ezra. Um, and it, it was life changing. I loved it. And I didn't do gluten. Well, so I've said this, I did it while pregnant and breastfeeding. I ate gluten and dairy intentionally with the, like wanting Ezra to get it. And I don't know if there's any truth to that, but I mean, I hear like, if you get it, your baby gets it. And like people who have their babies who have dairy intolerance, if they eat dairy while breastfeeding, their babies usually will have upset stomachs. So I'm like, okay, clearly it affects him. So I try to eat dairy and gluten so that he gets it. And it's not gonna give him some kind of intolerance by not getting it. And cause you can give yourself an intolerance to things. Like truthfully you can. I think my gluten intolerance wasn't bad. I think I had one. And then when I cut out gluten and then added it back, it was horrible. Like I couldn't do any gluten. So. Um, I've been trying to eat it so that he gets it, but like the further and further I get away from giving birth, it didn't upset my stomach while I was pregnant. Further and further I get away from actually when I gave birth, it, it, it makes my stomach, like I'm so bloated right now. I know that it is solely, I know that it is like solely because of the dairy and gluten that I ate at lunch. What color is the Yellow. Oh my gosh. Hey baby, um, do you want to meet me at the house after work? What time are you getting off work? Uh, like right now. So if you want, it's just meet me at the property. Why don't you just swing by and take me and Ezra up? Okay. All right, baby. Love, Love you. Ya. Bye. Guys that do the. Can't believe this battery's dead. All right, guys. Foundation. Crazy. The perspective is so warped. I was telling Sam the perspective of it is so hard to understand. Like the you guys see this and it just looks like dirt but when he actually goes to like the other side of the house he looks so tiny so it's just it's a very weird concept my brain is struggling to wrap around but here we go foundation so this these six what is this back porch the like six so this is the outline for the back porch you guys i show you this like every single time this is gonna be the one like i should do a time lapse when it's all said and done i have on like open toed shoes and my coffee so I'm kind of awkwardly standing, but that's the back porch, primary bedroom. We'll see. Let's come over here. And block is what, Tuesday? Um, yeah, it's Tuesday. Delivery. Look at that. This will be under our house forever. My daddy built it. I mean, this is like... This is crazy. This is solid, too. This like. is crazy to look at. And it, it's not at the same time. I mean, it's literally concrete and dirt, but like... Whoa. Here. I need to get a new card ordered. I noticed this one. I need to order one, too. My card did not 
the ship kept. So I'll order us card. Or no, you have like, to order your card today. You see how wonky that is. That's quite off. Hold on. Hey Siri, remind me when we get home to order new debit cards. That is really wonky. <laughs> hey guys, with my hubby here, let me tell you something. My love language is quality time. So today, Sam has just Invisible followed me. Touch. Oh. <laughs> around um, Hobby Lobby and Target and so my cup is so full right now because we got Starbucks home decor shopping and I spent the day with my son and my husband I am the happiest girl so now we're at Chick-fil-A and I told Sam I said I don't want I want a Chick-fil-A sandwich that's it and he was like all right well you better not touch my fries he gets to the window he orders two meals okay so now I'm gonna eat the fries he thinks they're both for him mm -mm. They're not for him. I knew they weren't. I oh, just didn't you... want to share my fries. <laughs> I have my water though. I'm not gonna drink a sweet I'll tea. I'll take my time to drink my sweet teas later throughout the day. That might have just all been a horrible audio because of that air right there. I hope it wasn't. But we got a baby that is asleep in the back. Can you guys see him? Probably not. Um, last time I vlogged, I was in the car. I um, Last night, Ezra slept. Do you want to tell him? I don't know because I slept through it. I didn't even hear you get up to feed him. Truthfully. 12 hours. So he only ate once and it was for 12 minutes. So he went to bed at seven. It was like 7.03 when I put him in bed. Woke up for 12 minutes to eat and he woke up this morning at 7.06. Was that what it was? 7.06 so when he, he went to get So him? he woke up at six and did a little bit of a fussy thing, but not, he like, you could tell he It was wasn't real, yeah. He was like, I kind of want to get up, but I kind of so don't. So from six Go to seven, every team. now and then, he did like a little bit of a whimper, and then he kept going back to sleep. And then I actually went and got him at 7.06. Yeah, at 7.06, he was like awake. He rolled over and was Which is out. the goal. That's what our goal is now that he's five months old. It would be a seven to seven schedule. That's what like all the all the sleep consultants and stuff you see on Instagram, like that's what they say. It's, it's seven to seven for their night sleep. And then I think what kind of changes the most is their day sleep. I think that's what really varies as they get older. But age appropriate, he is, I could, we went to bed at 10. And so we did what, we got nine, nine hours of sleep. It was we did not go to bed at 10. We got in bed at 10.30. I got in bed at 10.30. Anyway, today's just been awesome. My cup is full. It's overflowing because physical touch and quality time are my two love languages. And I got to just hang out with my boys today and home decor shop, drinking Starbucks. Now we're getting Chick-fil-A. Best day ever. All right, so I forgot to close out this vlog. It was not a quick one, or it was not a short one, I think. It was not a long one. Um, it has been a busy, busy week so i'll try and catch you guys up as quick as possible and tell you um while i am exporting this video that my child sleeps through the night now <laughs> and i don't know i think the last time i i think the last time i talked to you guys i have you literally propped up on a like coffee box hold on <laughs> I think the last time I like really filled you guys in, I was in the car and I can't remember if I said he was or was not sleeping through the night, but I had started taking the taking care of babies course. Started implementing, I think it was Wednesday night. So last Wednesday, we started implementing all of her tips and tricks. Friday night, my little man slept through the night and it is now Tuesday and he has slept through the night every single night for 12 hours. He is a dream. He wakes up so happy he sleeps so good in his crib and I had such a hard time with him sleeping in his crib it made me so emotional because he also showed interest in food at the same time at the same time he was rolling over and I just it was a lot but like looking at it now I see how much better he sleeps I see how good he sleeps and also he is sleeping 12 hours so I feel like a completely different person um so I don't know if I had said all that, but if your baby is approaching five months old, that's when she recommends this course. I got the five to 24 or five to 26 month, I think it's 24 month um, course, and it's the ABCs of sleep. And if you do what she said, your baby is not only going to sleep through the night, but they are going to, like his whole mood is different during the day. Like he's just so happy and content and we're working on the naps, but wow. Wow. Um, apart from that, Doug, 
I am happy to report I've had I've been like such a ball of anxiety which is why I really haven't been vlogging a lot um we found a lump on Doug and it just like if you guys remember, it was actually this time last year. And I don't know if I vlogged about it until it was over because I was also going through a first trimester pregnancy. So I was exhausted, but it was actually this time last year, Sasha got really, really sick. We found a lump on her. Um, it just out of nowhere showed up on her head and we took her to one vet. And I, to this day, like I wish that you could like sue vets and like prove that they killed your animal because the first vet we took her to, they 100% did not do anything to fix the cellulitis that she had. So she ended up getting like liver and kidney failure. And by the time the second vet that went above and beyond for her um, found it, it was too late. And so her lump just showed up overnight. So it's been a, a, something that's been keeping me up at night. Um, but I'm happy to report that today we went to the vet and within 15 minutes, she went and put it under a microscope and she looked at it and said that it was not anything to be worried about and that it will most likely go away. It's just like a fatty um, lump on him. So that's been a big sigh of relief because we lost Sasha. It was October 1st of last year and I miss her every day. So um yeah that's really what's been going on around here we have the foundation uh dug at the house concrete has been poured um we heard that the block got delivered today um so it it's happening but i think that's all i really have to update you guys on i'm just like i'm so relieved that what happened with it like zeus is okay um I, I was hesitant to share because even last year when I shared, I said, listen, this is what Sasha's got going on. Please, please, please try not to share any like worst case scenario stories with me about your animal with kidney failure or liver failure. And I got so many positive stories, but people did still share the bad. And ultimately, you know, Sasha was one that I now have a, a horror story about my animals with my animal with kidney failure and liver failure. So um, I'm just very relieved the Doug is good and we will not be doing that again so thank you guys so much for watching the vlog lots of chattiness but love you guys so much and we'll see you next time